Hello and welcome to this podcast on turf grass identification. My name is Pamela Sherritt and I'm the Sports Turf Specialist at The Ohio State University. Many of the photographs used during this podcast were provided by Dr. Dave Gardner. Turf grass plants, like woodies or perennial plants, have several key features that can be used to identify the species. During this presentation we will identify those features and see how they can be used to separate one type of grass from another. The first term we'll look at is venation. This term describes the arrangement of the youngest leaves or blades of grass. All of the turf grasses fall into one of three groups, bristle-like, rolled or folded. The bristle-like group contains all of the fine fescues. The leaves are so fine that they appear bristle-like, although some, like red fescue, are actually folded in the bud. To simplify turf identification, all of the fine fescues are usually grouped by themselves and include the following species chewings, creeping red, slender creeping red, hard and sheep's fescue. The next group is called rolled. One way to determine if the leaves are rolled is to spin the grass plant between your forefinger and thumb. If it spins easily it might be in the rolled group. Closer inspection will show the new leaves rolled around each other. Turf grasses that are rolled include creeping bent grass, annual ryegrass and tall fescue. The next group is folded. One way to determine if the leaves are folded is to spin the grass plant between your forefinger and thumb. If it is difficult to spin it might be in the folded group. Another key is if one side of the plant is thinner than the other as you can see in this picture. Closer inspection will show the new leaves folded around each other. Turf grasses that are folded include Bermuda grass, perennial rye and the power group, namely Kentucky blue, rough blue and annual blue. The next identifying characteristic is the growth habit. There are three groups here, plants that have a bunch type growth habit, plants with rhizomes and plants with stolons. Some turf plants have both rhizomes and stolons. All turf grasses produce new shoots or tillers, but some plants can only spread this way. For example, this picture shows a perennial ryegrass plant with five new tillers. It is considered a bunch grass as it can only spread laterally by these tillers. Another bunch type grass is annual bluegrass, botanical name Poa annua. Tall fescue is another bunch grass, although there are varieties that show substantial rhizome growth. The next group is the plants that have stolons. Stolons are overground stems that provide, produce new plants. Examples of turf grasses with stolons are Bermuda grass, creeping bent grass and rough blue grass. The next group contains those plants with rhizomes. Rhizomes are underground stems that produce new plants. An example of a grass that has rhizomes is Kentucky blue grass. Some grasses like Bermuda grass have both stolons and rhizomes. There are some exceptions to the three growth habit groups. Poa annua is so diverse in nature that it has many biotypes. Some are bunch type and some spread laterally. There are other ways to identify Poa annua though, as you will see later. The seed heads on a grass plant can also be used as an identifying characteristic. In this picture, the seed head of Poa annua on the left is called a panicle, while the seed head on, of perennial ryegrass on the right is called a spike. Two common features on turf grasses are the auricles and ligules. Auricles are appendages that project from the collar. They can be claw-like, as they are on this annual ryegrass picture, short and stubby, or absent. The ligules are structures found at the junction of the stem and leaf sheath. Ligules can be membranous, hairy, membranous and hairy, or absent. Next we'll look at some of the leaf blade characteristics. Some grasses like perennial ryegrass can be identified by their leaves. In this case perennial ryegrass has very shiny smooth undersides to the leaf and a veined dull upper side. Some grasses like perennial can be spotted by the colour of their leaves. In this picture perennial is apple green and easily identified. The shape of the leaf tip can differ among grasses. Kentucky bluegrass and poa annua have boat shaped leaf tips, while perennial ryegrass, creeping bent grass, Bermuda grass, and tall fescue have leaf tips that taper to a fine point. 
Here is a comparison of the two types of leaf tip. The width of turf leaf blades also varies. In this picture, tall fescue is on the left, Kentucky bluegrass in the middle, and fine fescue on the right. The outside of the leaf, where the blade and sheath join, is called the collar. The collar can vary in size and shape and is generally either divided or continuous. This picture shows a divided collar. Some grasses have a predominant centre vein or midrib. The grass on the left, tall fescue, is strongly veined, while the grass on the right is not. In summary, there are several key features that can be used to identify a turf grass. Venation, growth habit, oracles and ligules, and leaf characteristics. By using a book or fact sheet to work through the identification process, it can be relatively painless to identify grass, and it certainly gets easier each time it's done. For a printable fact sheet on turf grass characteristics, refer to the Buckeye Turf website and look for the posting on turf grass identification.